I guess I could parody the whole presuppositional argument, or certainly can. Say, I could just say I that mean, I, I, goes. I, like, I, I account for logic and morality and human dignity and all these things because, and transcendentals because of the magical transcendental fairies. Cool. They're invisible and cool. they are necessary and yeah. they ground all these things. Right. And they account for everything. Dude, let's go. Yeah. Uh, where do you know about these fairies? Uh, I, I presuppose them. Are they evidence anywhere else, or are they just sort of just sort of an axiom that you have in your worldview? They're just they're just axiomatic. But they account for they account for the the first cause of the universe. They account for the fine tuning. How many fairies are there? There's there's four. There's four. Yeah. Um, are they personal? Are they personal? Yeah, they're, they're personal. How do you know? They've revealed it to me. How? Through revelation. What revelation was that? It was a burning in my bosom. Well, how do you know that that was from the fairies? Is it because the fairies said it? Well, I think it's a, uh, this is s such a strong immediate experience. And yes, the, the fairies did say that, but it was such a strong immediate experience that it just shook me to my core and I just, I can't explain it. It's something mm. that's, that's yeah. supernatural and, and transcendental, I mystical. And that is my belief that these fairies exist. I start with these fairies. They account for all of these things, for morality, for the fine tuning of the universe. Are they good? Yeah. How do you know? They told me. How do you know they're not deceiving you? They would never do that. That's not in their nature. How do you know? Again, they, they told me. I had this experience that confirmed. Okay, yeah, I guess that's fair. Yeah. I guess.